Now, fans, please turn your attention to our video board for a special tribute to our own Gary Payton, who was recently enshrined into the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame. Tonight, we honor all he did throughout his career. Gary, we love you. Thanks for being a beaver. Thanks for all the great years at Oregon State. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. We're looking forward to good things from your son next year. Hi, Gary. I got your autograph at the Far West Classic when I was just a little tyke, and I've always looked up to you as a basketball player, um, a really awesome point guard, and a beaver. Go Beavs! Thank you. We love you, Gary. Congrats. Go Beavs! Hey, Gary. Congratulations on being elected to the Hall of Fame. You certainly deserve it. You've uh, not only brought great fame to the um, NBA, but certainly what you've brought to Oregon State University uh, is uh, it's phenomenal. And uh, just one last time, go GP! Hey Gary, thanks um, for all the memories. You were a senior when I was a freshman here at Oregon State. Used to come out and hang out at Holly Hall, visiting your friends from Oakland and from the San, San Francisco Bay Area. So I got to see you during that time. Congratulations on being inducted to the Basketball Hall of Fame and all your support for Beaver Nation. We love it that you're still part of our community. It's my pleasure to be able to talk about Gary tonight on this special occasion. What I'd like to mention is the fact that Gary had different levels that he could elevate his game to. He had what I call Gary's level. That's every game that he played. He played hard and to the best of his ability. The second level is big games or against big name people. He played very well. The third level was basically trash talk time when people would get after him, the fans, etc. at different places. If they would call him hookhead, I'm sorry, Gary, I had to say that. The fourth level was Coach Anderson's level, which was always against the Ducks, and, and that level was for the fans, too. Gary had these levels, and he came to play every game. Hey, GP, how you doing? This is Roberto Nelson here, wanting to congratulate you on being inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Little did you know that my sister, as well as myself, in junior high and high school, both wore number 20 because of you, and when I chose to come to Oregon State, I wanted to continue to wear that number. And as you know, your jersey is, is retired, so I ended up with number 55, which is totally fine, it's all right. My favorite memory with you was Jared and I were both in the locker room after a game, you came and, and talked to both of us, and Jared was standing right next to the big mural of your face, and you said, hey Jared, look right there. And Jared looked at it, and, and you said, hey, that's the closest you'll ever get to guarding me. And I started busting up laughing, it was so funny. Another thing that you probably don't know is sometimes when I'm feeling it in practice, I get asked one of the managers or even one of our media guys, Sean, for a piece of gum, and I put the gum in the side of my mouth, and I'm chewing it just like, like you have a little Gary Payton moment where I'm chewing it sideways, and so I put the gum in, I'm like, chewing it sideways and stuff like that. So hey, I want to thank you for everything you've done. You're a great person, meeting you and all that. I just want to thank you and, and congratulations again and go Beavs. Fans, make some noise for a true OSU legend, Gary Payton. Joining Gary on the floor, former coach Jimmy Anderson and director of athletics Bob DeCarolis. Jimmy served as an assistant coach for Gary's first three seasons and then head coach during Gary's senior season after the late Ralph Miller retired. Jimmy is credited with recruiting Gary to Oregon State. Nice job, Jimmy. Gary Payton is Oregon State's all-time leader in points, assists, and steals. During his time at OSU, Peyton led the Beavers to three NCAA tournament appearances and was a consensus All-American in 1990 when he was selected Sports Illustrated National Player of the Year. <laughs> Gary was a three-time All-Pac-10 selection, 1987 Pac-10 Freshman of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. His number 20 OSU jersey hangs in the rafters of Gill, and he was inducted into the OSU Athletic Hall of Fame in 1996. Following his OSU career, Gary was selected second overall in the NBA draft by the Seattle Supersonics, where he starred for more than 12 years. 
Gary ended his 17-year NBA career with the Miami Heat, where he won an NBA championship in 2006. He had a pretty good career. Gary was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame on September 8th of last year, joining Oregon State coaching legends Slats Gill and Ralph Miller among the all-time greats to be honored there. Today, we honor Gary for all of his accomplishments during his career and celebrate his Hall of Fame induction. Athletic Director Bob DeCarolis will now present Gary a gift from the athletic department. Take it away, Bob. First of all, Gary, welcome home. Congrats on the uh, Hall of Fame. Coach Anderson and myself and Coach Robinson love that ceremony and thank you very much for that. Thanks for being a great ambassador for Oregon State basketball. Thanks for uh, GP2 coming here next year in the fall. And please, please accept this as a small token of our appreciation of your career. Thank you. thank you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you and um, this is a great moment for myself. Um, would you guys to understand this man right here who really got me to come here and recruited me here. I didn't know that when I was a kid coming from Oakland, California. Big city, didn't want to come here but he was the guy who kept after me and after me and after me. And when he recruited me uh, I said this is the type of coach that I would want to be after who looks after me and not just for my talent. And when he came, um, you guys know that I chose St. John's at first and then they reneged the, con the, the, the uh, scholarship and then by grace of God I came here and I would never change it again. If I would have to do it over, I would come here. This, this was a great experience for me. Uh, you guys made me, I don't say the, the younger guys, but this generation over here. <laughs> they watched me when I was playing basketball and they supported me and they still do support me. And it was a proud moment when Gary the second decided to come here so that I can, he can live my legacy and live it on. You guys have got a great basketball player, my son. It's going to be a joy to watch him, and I'm going to have fun out here watching him like you are, so it's going to be great. I just want to say it's going to be a great thing, and this is my home. This is where I started everything. And, and as you guys know, it wouldn't have been a Hall of Fame if I wouldn't have been a Beaver first. So, this is for you guys mostly. I'm very proud to be a Beaver. I'm gonna stay a Beaver. I love you guys, and thank you very much. Fans, make some noise for Gary Payton.